The automotive world is buzzing after Friday night's online conference, where KTL, the world's largest battery producer, unveiled its groundbreaking Tianxing B, Tektrans B battery. KTL's latest innovation, introduced under the new Tektrans brand during a major event in Germany, is poised to make waves, especially as Tesla is expected to incorporate it into future models like the Model Y Juniper. The Tektrans B series, also known as the Tianxing B edition, delivers standout features. But how does it stack up against Tesla's current battery offerings? And what does this mean for the future of Tesla and CITL's collaboration? We'll dive into the details and explore what's next for these two EV giants in today's feature. How is KTL's 1 million kilometer battery the next big breakthrough? The electric vehicle industry has taken note of KTL's 1 million kilometer lithium iron phosphate battery, a game changer in battery technology that promises an unprecedented combination of durability and efficiency. CATL claims this battery can last 1.5 million kilometers or 15 years before its capacity falls to 85%. This remarkable longevity is paired with an impressive 600,000 mile 1 million kilometers warranty, ensuring confidence for long-term users. The ability to maintain 85% capacity after 15 years highlights the major leap forward in durability compared to existing battery solutions. One of the key advantages of KTL's LFP batteries is their heat resistance and high cycle life, critical factors for extending the operational lifespan of electric vehicles. Seattle boasts that after 1,000 charge cycles, the battery experiences minimal degradation, a stark contrast to the industry average, where substantial capacity loss often begins after fewer cycles. Furthermore, CATL's LFP battery can be charged at 560 kilowatts, a charging speed significantly higher than most competitors, drastically reducing charging times for large electric vehicles like buses and trucks. Comparatively, Tesla's LFP batteries, used in the standard range Model 3 and Model Y, and its nickel-manganese cobalt batteries in premium models, offer a higher energy density of 265 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram. However, they typically only last 1,000 to 2,000 cycles, with a 70% capacity retention after 8 years or 240,000 kilometers. While Tesla's batteries provide impressive energy density, their cycle life and degradation after several years leave room for improvement when compared to CATL's 15-year lifespan. CATL's advancements stand out further when it comes to charging speed. The company's 560 kilowatt fast charging capability dwarfs Tesla's supercharger VI3, which peaks at 250 kilowatts, and even Tesla's newest supercharger VI4 with 350 kilowatts charging capability. This means Tesla vehicles take about 20 to 30 minutes to charge from 10% to 80%, whereas KATL's technology could revolutionize how quickly EVs recharge especially for long-haul journeys. As the EV market continues to evolve, KTL's 1 million kilometers battery sets a new benchmark. Its extended lifespan, impressive cycle retention, and rapid charging capabilities position it as a pivotal development, particularly for commercial vehicles and future Tesla models like the Model Y Juniper, which may be among the first to adopt this cutting-edge technology. Do you think will Tesla fully embrace this battery and catapult its fleet into a new era of durability and performance? Comment 1 if yes, and comment 2 if no. And don't forget to share your thoughts down below. The KTL Tektrans battery represents a groundbreaking advancement in electric vehicle technology, setting new benchmarks in performance and durability. Utilizing KATL's cutting-edge cell-to-pack 3.0 technology, this battery offers a significant leap forward from previous versions. The CTP 3.0 boasts a remarkable energy density of 255 watt-hours per kilogram, surpassing the 230 watt-hours per kilogram of CTP 2.0 and marking a substantial improvement from the earlier CTP 1.0, which averaged around 200 watt-hours per kilogram. This increase in energy density means that electric vehicles can achieve longer ranges without adding weight or bulk to the battery packs. Furthermore, the CTP 3.0 enhances volumetric efficiency to over 72%,
a notable advancement over the 65% achieved by CTP 2.0 and the 55% of CTP 1.0. This efficiency allows more cells to be packed into the same space, optimizing the battery's footprint and performance. Improved thermal management is another critical upgrade, with advanced cooling systems reducing overheating risks and enhancing safety during rapid charging and high load conditions. This system also includes robust structural integrity, offering superior protection against external impacts and extreme temperatures. The production costs for the CTP 3.0 are lower, with a 13% reduction compared to CTP 2.0 due to its streamlined design that integrates cells directly into the battery pack without the need for additional modules. This efficiency does not only cut costs, but also extends the battery's lifespan to an impressive 12,000 charge cycles, a substantial increase from the 8,000 cycles offered by its predecessor. Additionally, the CTP 3.0 battery's IP69 rating underscores its durability, providing complete dust resistance and the ability to withstand high-pressure, high-temperature water jets. This means the battery can endure prolonged submersion in water for up to 72 hours, making it exceptionally resilient in harsh weather conditions and suitable for rugged outdoor applications. In comparison, while Tesla's NMC batteries offer substantial performance, they experience faster degradation at high temperatures. Although Tesla has improved its liquid cooling systems to manage these conditions better, they do not match the thermal resilience of Key ATL's latest technology. The Tektrans battery's innovations place it at the forefront of battery technology, making it a game-changer in the electric vehicle industry. In addition to these advancements, CATL's low lithium consumption technology represents a significant step forward in battery performance and longevity. This technology reduces the use of active lithium in the anode, enhancing the stability of the anode material and extending the battery's cycle life. Cattle's batteries, which support up to 12,000 charge cycles, exemplify this improvement. This technology is already in use at the Jinjiang 100 megawatt hour energy storage facility, demonstrating its capability in large-scale applications. The self-healing electrolyte further boosts battery performance by maintaining efficiency and reducing degradation over time. With these innovations, CATL aims to push the cycle life of their batteries even further, targeting up to 18,000 cycles in the future. Additionally, the use of passive cathodes through techniques such as doping and coating helps to mitigate side reactions at high voltages, enhancing the battery's durability and safety. Crucial for both electric vehicles and stationary energy storage. KTL's advancements are underscored by their significant global presence, having produced 37% of the world's EV batteries in the first half of 2023. Their continued innovation in lithium-ion and sodium-ion batteries positions them to meet future demands for energy density, cost efficiency and sustainability. Comparatively, while Tesla's NMC-NMCA batteries maintain about 70% of their capacity after eight years, KTL's new technology promises nearly double the lifespan without significant degradation. Despite this, KTL's batteries, with an energy density of 175 watt-hours per kilogram in the Tektron's bus edition, lag behind Tesla's more energy-efficient offerings. This gap highlights that while KTL excels in longevity, Tesla continues to lead in performance and range. How is Tesla's dry electrode technology the key to outpacing KTL's battery dominance. Tesla's relentless pursuit of battery technology breakthroughs continues to gain momentum, with the company betting heavily on its dry electrode technology to achieve advancements in energy density and cost efficiency. While KTL focuses on extending battery lifespan, Tesla's dry electrode process aims to significantly lower production costs and scale manufacturing more efficiently. It's been nearly four years since Tesla first unveiled its 4680 battery at Battery Day in September 2020, with the goal of creating a higher energy density battery that could be produced affordably. A critical step toward the much-anticipated $25,000 EV. In June, Tesla announced it had produced 50,004,680 cells, and just 101 days later, production doubled 
reaching 100 million cells. This rapid scale-up is a major milestone for the automaker, showing tangible progress in its battery manufacturing capabilities. Tesla's journey with the 4680 cell hasn't been without challenges. After acquiring Maxwell Technologies in 2019 for its unique dry coating process, Tesla worked tirelessly to perfect the tableless design, one of the keys to lowering the cost per kilowatt hour. However, this innovative process also proved to be a production nightmare. Five years into the development, reports surfaced that CEO Elon Musk issued an ultimatum to his team. Fix the issues by the end of the year, or the project could be scrapped. That was in May, and now, just four months later, it seems Tesla may have made a breakthrough. This assumption is bolstered by Tesla's recent production surge. The company celebrated its first million 4,680 cells in January 2022, followed by 10 million in June 2023, averaging around 562,000 cells per month. By June 2024, Tesla hit 50 million cells, ramping up production to over 833,000 cells per month. Over the weekend, the company reached 100 million cells, now averaging 495,000 per day. To put that in perspective, it took 29 months to produce the first 50 million cells and just three months for the second 50 million, a staggering improvement. With its Q2 earnings report, Tesla confirmed that it began validation testing of its first dry cathode 4680 cells in July, using a Cybertruck prototype as the test subject. This makes sense, as the 4680 cell is the chosen power source for Tesla's upcoming Cybertruck. The increase in production suggests that Tesla is satisfied with how these cells are being manufactured. Whether the ramp-up is due to the dry cathode process, or simply increased production of existing cells, remains unclear. But the company has now produced enough 4680 cells to build nearly 60,000 Cybertrucks. In conclusion, KTL's Tektrans battery and Tesla's dry electrode technology both represent major leaps forward in the electric vehicle battery race. Which of these innovations do you think will dominate the market in the coming years? If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay updated on the latest in EV tech. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below.